Here we are at the equivalent decimals mastery check, where we get to see if you know what you're doing when it comes to equivalent decimals. If you're looking for more of an instructional video, I did one of those and I dropped the link in the description below. And when you're done with that, you can come back to the mastery check to see if you have it down. So if you're ready for the mastery check, here's what we're doing with this one. As you can see, we have six numbers down here. And we have a row going across of four decimals. So this is kind of like equivalent decimals mastery check. There's a list of four numbers there and we have to find the one that is not equivalent to the other three. So you should have a piece of paper ready and a pencil or something to write down with, okay? And we will do number one together as an example, and then you do two through six, okay? So number one, I look here, I have one and five tenths here. So let's see, we have a one in the ones place and a five in the tenths. This one we have a one, a zero in the tenths, and a five in the hundredths. So those two definitely, definitely are not equivalent. Let's look at the third one. A one in the ones place and a five in the tenths, and then placeholder zeros. And then we have a one in the ones and a five in the tenths with a placeholder zero. So did you notice which one is not equivalent? Hopefully you said this one. So on your paper or whatever you're writing onto, that's the number you would put, the number that does not fit with the rest. So if you're ready to do these on your own, go ahead and press pause here in a second when I tell you, and then when you have all six done, press play to check your answers with mine. So if you're ready, go ahead and press pause. Welcome back. Hopefully you have all six of those. Well, we did one together, so the remaining five done, and we're gonna see how you how you did. So number two, looks like we have a seven in the hundredths, 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 oop, and then we have a seven in the tenths. So this one is the odd man out. Seven tenths is not equivalent to the other decimals. Number three, Looks like we have 44 holes in each of them. 90 hundredths with a nine in the tenths, nine in the tenths. Oh, right here we have a nine in the hundredths, so that's different, but let's check our last one just to make sure. 44 and a nine in the hundredths. So this one here is the odd man out. Remember, zeros to the right of a decimal do not change the value zeros before numbers to the right of the decimal do change the value. Like this zero here that I'm underlining pushes that nine to the hundredths. Number four, let's see, we have a bunch of six and zeros. It's this first one that does not fit because of the six in the thousandths. The, the rest have a six in the tenths. Number five, we have threes and twos, and the one that does not fit is 32 thousandths. The rest has a three in the tenths and a two in the hundredths. And then the last one, each of them have one hole, and then an eight, and the eight that is out of place is here in the second one because that eight is in the hundredths, and the rest of them are in the tenths. So that's our mastery check for equivalent decimals. Hopefully you have it down. Um, I dropped the link to my suggested next video below when it comes to decimals, comparing and then ordering decimals. So I will see you over at those videos. Thank you for watching.